10 Tampa Bay Chief New Orleans. It's Bobby Deskins joins us right now. Bobby, we're keeping an eye on possible development in the tropics. But it's getting a little bit better. Good. Because now it's down to 30% chance. That's good news. We'll take whatever yeah, we can get bet. started out at 50%, yeah. down to 40%, and then tonight they lowered it to 30%. It looks like we're going to get some rain out of it at least. And that could be a little bit on the heavier side, so we'll talk about that. But let's start there with the tropics now. Uh, just a little bit of the good news. That area almost covers the entire Gulf of Mexico. This shell, yellow shaded area, that's where the Hurricane Center thinks there could possibly tropical development over the next several days. And again, that chance has lowered down to 30%. But you can see there's already moisture there, and that will continue. This is the GFS model. It's similar to the European in that it doesn't make a big time tropical storm or hurricane. Now, could happen. It's only a 30% chance, but it could happen. But this is Sunday, and that is a big area of low pressure. We call that big broad area of low pressure. That's not a, a tropical storm with a closed center and lower pressures near the middle. It's just real broad, but this is what we're interested in because that would be heavy rain force, especially Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. This is Monday morning. Look at all that rain. And then depending on which model you look at, the GFS, it's more of us. And South Florida, the Europeans more just South Florida. So the devil's in the details, but the good news is that the models are starting to agree with each other a little bit, which is really good for us because we're not trying to figure out which one's got the right handle on it. This is Thursday at 11 p.m. The rain moves to the south. Still could get something to try and develop here, but nothing like Helene. All right, we're not looking at that right now. The atmosphere is not like that. I don't think it can make something because we have quite a bit of wind shear up here toward the north, but the rainfall certainly, I mean, we've got a lot of humidity here, obviously you know that, right? But there's a lot of moisture in the ground, from the ground all the way up. And so you move storms over top of us, just afternoon storms, rain through, and you're gonna get heavy numbers. Some of those yellows are almost eight inches. These reds and oranges, that's basically four, five, six inches of rainfall by the time we get into Sunday and into Monday. These